Hey guys, Gameboy30, 102 once again, and today I'm going to show you something I have that's having an issue. And if you don't recognize this yet, um, it's the HP HCX 9000 Dragon, a 20.1 inch entertainment PC that's having some hard drive issues once again, along, well, not really with anything now, but if you remember my Alienware M7700 hard drive problems video, this is kind of the same thing. I got it, it didn't come with hard drives, it didn't come with a battery. Missing the little entertainment controller and one of the mouse buttons. As you can see, it's got dual hinge action. I'm turning the light to you so you can see it. Here's the missing mouse button. There should be a little controller here. There's no battery underneath. Actually, I gotta get the power cord. I'll just set it there for a second. Um, this computer is like the M, um, the XPS M2010 in the way that it has dual hinges. But I got this, found out that the optical drive um, connector either was misaligned or broken so I can't use a disk drive at all so what I did was I got a hard drive and put it into the um, D9C that you've been seeing a lot of in my videos lately and you know loaded Windows up with that Windows 7 and Windows 7 is the kind of operating system that you could actually um, take the operating system out well, not the operating system, the hard drive out, put it into another computer. It would run, but you need to put in a product key and stuff. But, yeah. Um, here's what happens. There we go. Comes up with this message. Need to test failure, check, check cable. And then finally, couldn't open drive multi disk partition one. Then couldn't open drive multi disk um, partition one. Um, I'm not sure what that really means. I've never had this error happen on an HP before. I mean, is there a shortcut to get by it? Do I um, need to um, you know get a new drive or use a, a disk drive of some sort? Let me actually take this opportunity to test the um, USB ports with this flash drive. Two on that side work. The two on that side work, and sometimes the e SATA ports can be used as a USB flash drive, but not today. Um, so they all work. I could possibly load Windows or something onto this flash drive. It's it's got enough space, but yeah, um, if that's the only option, let me know if you have an idea of what could be going on, uh, please let me know, it would be a great help, because I want to get this thing up and running and do a, a comparison video with the Dell XPS M2010 and this unit, because they're kind of similar in construction with the dual hinge and similar specs. But, uh, yeah, so I gotta get it off of this, um, thing I have it so it won't be off, well, it'd be off the bed and not sucking little dust, or bed, red bed stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna shut down now. One of those computers that you gotta have the kind of force shut down. 
Overall, it's a beautiful looking unit. I want to get it running and show you guys. But I can't do that until you show me how to fix it. That's pretty much it. Thanks, Game Boy Out. See you next time. Hopefully, we can all help each other.